Hello dear members and welcome to a new edition of HT Global News. After her tour in South America where she conducted a special devotional condition, Truman made a victorious return to Korea after a stopover in the United States. This week was marked by the commemoration of the 18th anniversary of True Parents' coronation entrance ceremony at the Chonjong an event that took place on June 13, 2006. In this special edition of HJ Global News, we will review in detail this event that occurred in conjunction with the celebration of True Mother's victorious return to Korea. True Mother, the mother of peace and the universe, recently visited Brazil after a stopover in the United States to carry out a special condition of devotion for a heavily unified Korea and a heavily unified world. She made a triumphant return to Korea in good health after elaborating the grand master plan to realize the dream of Heavenly Parent as part of the Providence. On June 13, 2006, the coronation and the entry ceremony of True Parents into Chonjongu was held. On July 18th, the 13th day of the sixth month of the Heavenly Calendar of Chonjongu, an event was held to mark the 18th anniversary of this historic day and celebrate your mother's victorious return to Korea after the American tour. It is a holy day when the parents of the cosmos, our true parents, and the true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind created perfect harmony, embodying the king and queen of cosmic peace who directly exercise their sovereignty on earth and in heaven. At the opening of the program, Rev. Iggy Song, President of Chan Shimon, offered a fervent prayer expressing his hope to see God rejoice in his children, serving him with devotion as originally envisioned. There then was a video screening about South American tour which allowed participants to feel the fervor of the pure waters from the region. True Mother then made her entrance and proceeded to cut the cake. All participants sang together a beautiful song to congratulate the true parents. They then listen to very touching reports about True Mother's tour. The first report was presented by Reverend Kim gi director of the Chan Shim Won America, who shared the moments of grace from the tour. Susuan Mamuro, Cham Omoningwa, Hana Deso, Cham Omonimur, Kip Puke He, Tirigo Jahanan, Tulte Shinang, Tulte Sarang. 절대 복종의 신정이 있게 되면은 단순간에 너희들은 천일국의 천국을 볼수 있고 독생녀를 모시고 하늘 부모님의 복귀 섭리 역사를 결산하고 또 승리로 보고하는 그 노정에 동참할 수 있다고 강조를 해 주셨습니다. Dr. Song Yeon-chan, Director General of World Mission Headquarters, then shared his deep feelings about the store of the four providential countries in South America. 제가 순회하기 전에 이미 어머니께서는 교회 강림하셨습니다. 성령 강림의 기적을 보여주셨습니다. 그리고 전통 상속과 이색권 부흥의 기적이 일어나고 있는 모습을 보았습니다. 그리고 청년 전도, 청년 전도의 기적이 매일 매일 일어나고 있는 모습을 보았습니다. 신남미 이세 청년들이 어머님의 승리권에서 살아가고 있는 모습을 보았습니다. Lastly, Reverend Kim dong president of the South America region, reported on the miracles that occurred in his region as he actively prepared to receive True Mother. 작년 7월 달부터요. 약 1년 전이죠. 저희들은 전도 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 기적을 천시문을 중심으로 해서 천명 호명 기도로 출발을 했습니다. 그래서 결과적으로 6개월 활동에 약 2000명 이상의 새로운 식구들을 만들게 되었습니다. 그 기반 위에 이세들을 중심으로 
21일 수련회에 300명이 참석을 했고요 그 300명을 중심으로 어머님을 자르들 모시기 위해서 다섯 배를 하자 해서 결과적으로는 1,500명의 퓨어 워터들이 어머님을 모시게 되었습니다 그런데 또 한꺼번에 1,500명이 한꺼번에 참 어머님을 중심으로 한그 사랑과 자비와 그 섭리에 일률적으로 도달하는 정말 놀라운 기적을 저는 봤습니다 이것이 힘입니다 네. After listening attentively to all the reports, t r u m a d a delivered a precious message, emphasizing the need to reveal the truth in order to allow humanity to serve the Heavenly Parent. 지금 여러분은 어느 시대에 살고 있나? 천일국 시대에 살고 있지? 네. 천일국 시대는 어떤 시대인가? 창조주. 하늘 부모님의 꿈, 소원이 지상에서 참 부모에 의해서 이루어지는 때다. 내가 이번에 남미를 다녀온 것은 그동안의 통일교 역사는 70년을 지나오면서 실체로 참부모로서 지상에 하늘 부모님을 모시는 환경권을 만드는 데 있어서 첫째로 기독교권이 복귀되지 못한 것에 대한 하늘에 대한 죄송함이 너무너무 커 하늘은 참부모를 위해서 하늘이 할수 있는 모든 것을 다 투입해 주셨는데 통일교의 출발이 기독교권을 포섭한 상태에서 출발되지 못한 것이 너무도 큰 아픔이야 그냥 과거 남미 선미를 할때 남미는 천주교권이야 북미는 신교야 그러나 그때 정치적 상황은 그렇게 하나가 될수 없는 좀 껄끄러운 상태였어 그러나 참부모는 하늘의 섭리를 남미를 통해서 보여주고 북미가 하나 되어 세계 섭리에 있어서 중심으로서 나아가야 할 북미 장자국의 책임을 하기 위해서 40여 년간 미국을 교육해 나왔어 미국을 교육한 것은 기독교권을 복귀해서 세계를 품으려 한 거야 그때 이루지 못한 꿈을 한번 시작을 하셨으니 열매를 맺을 수 있는 결과를 낳을 수 있게 하기 위해서 이번에 남미 자르딘을 다녀왔다 하늘이 수고하심이 헛되게 해서는 안 돼. 참 부모를 따르는 축복 가정 여러분들의 생각도 실천도 나와 하나 되어야 한다. 게 선포만이 아닌 실체로 다 이루었다 할수 있는 실적을 하늘 부모님 앞에 보고해 드릴 수 있는 축복 가정 여러분 한국의 전체 식구들이 되기를 축원한다. 
천일국 시대에 있어서는 참 부모론이야. 창조 원리는 창조주 하늘 부모님이시고 부모님이 당신의 형상을 따라서 천지 만물을 창조했다 하셨어. 광물 세계부터 식물 세계, 동물 세계까지 암컷과 수컷 마지막으로 인간 시조가 될수 있는 남자와 여자를 창조하시고는 인간에게만은 스스로 성장하여 완성의 자리까지 나오도록 하셨다 이것이 창조 원리야 그래서 창조주의 소원, 인류의 소원은 참 부모를 만나는 거야 그렇기 때문에 천일국 시대에는 참 부모론을 공부해야 된다 그래서 유폐의 생도들이 세계 선교 나가 있는데 참 부모론 강의하면 되는 거야 The traditional h y o j o n g cultural performance was then prepared to congratulate her mother and express everyone's gratitude for this new victory The performance began with a team from the Family Federation of Korea and the h y o j o n g Cultural Center, who performed two songs including one that won the 5th c h o n e g o k Holy Song Contest. The youth of the future generation then took control of the stage and transmitted their favor to the entire audience. Finally, the famous little angels congratulated True Mother on her triumphant return, concluding the performance in a warm and harmonious atmosphere. Dr. Yang Chan-sik, chairman of UPF, then led the four chairs of Okmanse, which concluded the program of this celebration of True Mother's successful tour and the 18th anniversary of the coronation and entry of True Parents into c h o n j o n g o Let's now take a look at some of the activities conducted around the world as part of the Providence. In preparation for her South American tour, True Mother asked Professor Chu Dong Moon, Director of Hyojong International Foundation for Environment and Peace, to go to Brazil to raise awareness among the young Pure Water members about the environmental issues. Director Ju's lecture focused on the theme Love for the Nature and a Healthy Planet to address the climate and environmental crisis. He emphasized that the providence of environmental preservation is the last mission that will allow the realization of Chonigok. The environmental protection movement is the last mission that will allow the realization of Chonigok. The environmental protection movement is the last mission that will allow the realization of c h o n 천국의 환경을 실현할 수 있는 길을 여는 하나의 평화 운동이 되는 것입니다. Director Ju further emphasized that Jan Tim can be seen as the place of origin where the third blessing should be realized. He highlighted the importance of the environmental providence centered on True Mother, the Messiah of the environment. The young people who attended the conference committed to moving forward by becoming environmental messiahs like True Mother. The Advisory Committee for the Democratic and Peaceful Unification has promoted a mentorship program among North Korean refugees, creating a festive space to meet and interact together. Director Jin Songbae presided over the event as Vice President of the Advisory Committee for Democratic and Peaceful Unification and the committee members have become mentors to help North Korean refugees successfully integrate into South Korean society and contribute to the local community. Vice President Jin Songbae emphasized the need for national education centered on the theory of heavily unified Korea and mentioned that the Advisory Committee will strive to create a warmer, and more welcoming environment for North Korean refugees. The Hyojong Academic Foundation signed an MOU in Korea with a delegation from Kagamega County, Kenya, 
related to the correct education materials for primary, secondary and university education. The delegation composed of those in charge of policies in southwestern Kenya has a special interest in the distribution of educational materials based on Tripper and Stoll. Dr. Jin Sombe mentioned that he produced the material with a desire for young people to grow properly through education in values and character development, emphasizing the importance for this for the youth of Kenya, where youth population is high. With the signing of this MOU, we hope that it will generate a boom in character education in the southwestern region of Kenya. The special cause of the National Committee for Preparation for Infication, co-organized by the Family Federation, UPF and the Citizens Federation for Infication, has been launched. Upyong Church attended on July 11, while Kangnam, Songbuk and Chongpyong Churches attended on July 13. After completing a pilgrimage through the Chonwon complex, they listened to a special lecture on unification by Dr. Song Gwan So. Through this special course, they recognized that the time for unification of the peninsula is approaching, and participants realized they need to intensify their efforts and voices in favor of the unification. A Sunday service was held where President Song spoke about how to overcome the new Cold War. President Song Gwan So gave a lecture titled Recent Changes in the Situation of the Korean Peninsula and the Historic Mission of the National Committee for Preparation for Unification. In the appointment ceremony for the local committee members, attendees committed to being firm soldiers of unification and reaffirmed their determination to achieve reunification. The 15th Chonshim Seminar and Prayer for Unification was held for four days at the Chonwon Complex. This training aimed at new members who joined after completing the Seminar of Principles of Happiness in Yongpyong and was conducted with the participation of spiritual parents through the program of Love, God, Love, Humanity and Love the Nation, participants were renewed in spirit and truth and experienced God's love during the pilgrimage in the complex. The celebration of the publication of Kim Hyo's memoir, who was a special advisor to True Parents, was held at Hyojong Yon. Moments of Grace, a life attending the True Parents, is the translation of the title chosen for the English version. The event was attended by family members and leaders of providential organizations. The presence of Song Gwansok, president of FFWPU Korea, Dr. Yang Chang-sik of UPF, and Hwang Sonjo, president of the Citizens Federation of the Unification of Korea, was noted, while Won Ju John McDavid, vice chair of Chon Mu Won and chief secretary, sent a congratulatory letter to the author from abroad. Peter Kim attended the event, but due to his health issues, he conveyed his gratitude to the attendees through a video message and encouraged them to read the book. The 2024 Summer Hyojong Special Workshop, General and Advanced Training for Youth, held at the HJ Heaven and Earth Chumbo Training Center, concluded gracefully in the love of heavenly parent and true parents. The general training aimed to experience the culture of heart and for the integration of the witness contacts. The advanced training was designed for candidates for public office and consisted of various programs such as praise, prayer, and the course of true parents. For eight days, participants were encouraged to unite in heart with God and true parents and to grow in the path of divine will. The Vice President of the Family Federation, Kim dong Yeon, emphasized in his closing remarks that they should be people who can proudly present results to the world and urge the youth to move forward with determination and passion.
As the climate crisis becomes increasingly severe and national interest in a low carbon society grows, UPF, in collaboration with the Association of NGOs, conducted an academic seminar on the theme Climate Change and Environment and the Role of NGOs. The event was attended by the Vice President of UPF and President of the Korean Peace NGOs Association and the President of Sonak UPA Graduate University, as well as professors who conducted presentations and debates. The Vice President of UPF introduced peace initiatives centered on the three major global agendas, unification, peace and environment. In particular, environmental issues is an area that the whole world is experiencing collectively and requires united efforts and wisdom for achieving harmonious coexistence between nature and human beings. The seminar highlighted efforts to address global climate change and the role of UPF and the Association of Non-Governmental Organizations as a space for communication and collaboration in the academic and professional fields. The Family Federation of Taiwan held a two-day seminar on the theory of true parents, with approximately 500 people participating both in person and online. Before the conference began, all members established a standard of heart and unity with true parents through the Chanyang session. Then President Min Dae-se, along with six key speakers, conducted training on the position and value of true parents. The members present through the lectures understood the trials that True Mother went through and united with True Mother, committed with the determination to fulfill the will of Heavenly Parent. On the occasion of the 21st anniversary of the Peace Cup, a festival was held at the LA Galaxy Stadium in the United States. This Peace Cup event was held with the cooperation of Reverend Joshua Holmes in LA Galaxy Stadium. During the three days of the event, more than 1,000 young people from across the country participated in futsal, basketball, volleyball, table tennis and esports competition. Bishop Noel Jones from the City of Refugee Church and LA Galaxy Park manager Tyler Champion, among others, were invited to engage in dialogues about peace and the unification of the Korean Peninsula. Participants felt hope that the world can change through the culture centered on true parents and expressed that they felt one step closer to unification. In the United States, groups from the 2,075 couples and 6,000 couples blessing celebrated the 42nd anniversary of their blessing with the commemorative meetings in Ohio, San Francisco, and Los Angeles. Members shared testimonies about their incredible journey over the past 42 years and expressed their gratitude to God and to parents. A delegation from UPF Asia Pacific visited the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tato Tuhari Pin Abdul, at the Malaysian Parliament. During the meeting, legislator Eknak Taka presented the Asia Pacific Union initiative to promote peace and cooperation in the Asia Pacific region. The Speaker of the Parliament, Tato Tuhari Pin Abdul, emphasized the crucial role of UPF in promoting peace and cooperation in the region. Through this, the delegation had the opportunity to confirm the common goals between Malaysia, parliamentarians and UPF. In Australia, parallel seminars were conducted for second and third generation children and youth. In this retreat, the children and adolescents who attended were able to easily understand the principles and through anecdotes containing life lessons, found an opportunity to clarify the directions of their lives. In Italy, people of various ages completed the eight-lesson course on unification thought, taught by Giuseppe Cali. 
The conference addressed many topics, including the nature of God, human beings, and sessions were also organized for sharing opinions and debate. In Italy, the CAP organization is promoting a witnessing method in the form of street interviews to facilitate conversation with new people on various topics. Through this, they are conducting a weekly program in a talk show format called Conversations with Youth. In the recent conversations, Robin Chiona shared a biblical story with teachings and talked about how to view the world through the unification principles. The CUP organization in Portugal planned a national campaign of testimony and confession. Missionaries, including those from UPA, have finished preparations to distribute 10,000 flyers for this campaign. In the Dominican Republic, a special service for the region was held both online and in person. Prior to the service, a one-hour praise session was led by the youth. Regional President Kim Sang-sok gave a sermon titled Resolution of Heavenly Latin America for the Victory of Vision 2025, encouraging everyone to do their best to unite with True Mother's Will and offer the fruits of victory to heaven, with nine months left until the Chan Won Gung Chonyo Sanctum entrance ceremony. In Liberia, under the direction of George Ogudi, the West African Regional Director, the dedication of the country's first Chon Shimwan Temple was celebrated. Sakua, director of the Chonbo West Africa branch, stated that in the Chon Shimwan, one can experience living with heavenly parent. He emphasized that it's a holy sanctuary where one can interact with the subjective spiritual world. Kati Rikni, co-chair of the Chon Shimwan, expressed her congratulations on the first dedication of the Chon Shimwan in Liberia. Members welcomed the dedication of the temple with joy and filled with happiness offered their special day with fervent prayers. Heavenly Parent and True Parents of Heaven, Earth and Humankind have achieved a total and perfect unity through the coronation and entrance ceremony at the Chon Jong Gung. Today, we are actively preparing for the grand entrance ceremony into the Chonil Sanctum of the Chon Won Gung. True Mother said that this is the day of joy and jubilation from which the Heavenly Parent will directly exercise his authority on earth. We eagerly await this historic day of the golden age of the providence. With these words, we conclude this edition of HT Global News. Thank you for following us and may God bless you.